Sorry, we're going to change topics. Every time this next guest joins us on the show, we get a, today she's here to answer your most asked questions about protecting your kids online and when they're using their cell phones as well. Jesse Weinberger is an internet safety speaker and author of The Boogeyman Exists. Jesse, it's so good to have you back here in the studio. And the crazy part is since you've been here, which wasn't that long ago, right. there have been new things that have come out that uh, parents especially should really be keeping in mind when it comes to their kids' safety on the internet. New day, new cooties. That's it's how this, I right. know, that's how this works. So Absolutely. I just, you know, I just saw a story where a two-year-old had his iPad so mm -hmm. And I was thinking, well, should a two-year-old even have the iPad? That's an excellent question. The answer would be no. That would be a big no, yes. <laughs> so what's new? What's new since we've seen you last? Okay, so first we have to we have to, we have to thank Danielle Brooks from Parma because she sent the question in. So okay. she said, okay. right, so she said, what, is, what do parents need to know about the worst that's out there? And so this is getting to be the worst. So this is a category, not okay. a singular app. Okay. And the category is video conferencing and live streaming. So parents might know video conferencing by FaceTime or Skype, et cetera. Right. Okay. These are sort of benign, depending on who you're talking to. Sure. If you're talking to someone you don't know, you have a problem, right? So right. that's sort of level one. The next level is something called Uvu, which we talked about, I think, briefly one other time while I was here. And essentially, Uvu is something kids are using to video conference with strangers while they're gaming. So now you right. see it's just to get a little ickier, right? Right. Okay. And so there was actually a lady in North Royalton who at a parent event told me that she turned on her iPad and saw a man naked who was waiting to speak to her son who wow. was about to get home from school. So okay. that was Uvu, right? right? Also depending on who you're talking to. So now there's a new game that a ton of Northeast Ohio kids are playing called Flinch. Mm -hmm. Now dig this. Flinch lies on top of Uvu. What happens is you look at the screen, you have randomized play with strangers. So I turn it on and you and I are looking at each other, sure. right? And the person who looks away first loses. It's right. sort of like a staring contest, okay. right? So two things to know for parents, you're not supposed to use it under the age of 17, and you're not supposed to uh, use it as a kid, well, you're not supposed to use it as a kid at all. I mean, parents should not be letting their kids use this, right? Mm -hmm. And kids have been actually complaining in the app store that they're being matched up with random men from all over the country who don't even speak their language, who don't even speak English. Okay. Right. And then what are the odds that they're only going to see the person's face? Right. Yeah. Right? So that's the other thing. So flinch is a big no, 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 no okay. uh, for, for kids. And so the next level up from that is where we start to get into the live streaming, which is a Meerkat, Periscope, and You Now. Okay. Okay, so these are the new, new, new. And their hot Periscope is like the it oh. thing right now, I feel like. It's totally new. Yeah, it's totally the hottest thing. In the first 10 days of its going live, it uh, reached 1 million users right. in 10 days. That's what right. I'm about by YouTube, I think. Correct. Okay. So, so Periscope is a thing, and Meerkat as well, where basically you turn your phone on, right? And I can sort of hold my phone back there, and no one would know maybe that it's on. And it would live stream whatever's happening here to the greater public, to anyone, anyone, anyone. Anyone right. who wants to see that could view that. Correct. And, and so some kids will say, yeah, but you can lock it down to just friends. Yeah, but nobody does because that's not the point right. of the thing, right? So obviously huge safety risks of who's looking at your kid in their bedroom or at school, or does one child have your child on a live stream? We wouldn't know that, mm -hmm. right? And then also issues of, of copyright infringement. What if someone goes to a Katy Perry concert and turns on their live stream and is now broadcasting out? So that's right. an issue too, right? And so one of the biggest ick factors uh, for you, for uh, you now is the fact that kids are live streaming themselves as they sleep. Okay. And s because that makes why? hard fix. I don't know why. That's Asking why doesn't uh. doesn't work in this. So so kids are, are live streaming themselves sleeping, and they're actually making money. Ick squared. So the more of eyeballs you get, the more money you make. Okay. So these apps are giving kids the, the ability to charge for their streams. And the incentive to maybe do things more so just to get more money or more followers, right? That's correct. Right. So if kids know that if they ratchet up the interest level, they're going to make more money, then, you know, they're not going to they're not gonna live stream themselves knitting is what I'm saying. Right, no. right. Probably Although, you know, hopefully, you, as a parent, you've taught your kids some principles, some values. Right, but kids see, so that's a great point. Kids don't have the same sort of visceral response to pornography and nudity that we had growing up. Mm. So they don't really see anything wrong with streaming themselves sleeping. Okay. And so this is where parents have to sort of turn over every rock and know what's going on. As, as much as you can parent sometimes, it's just you have to hope 
that they know the difference between right and wrong. And sometimes you're, you're your kids, and sometimes you don't. Right, but why do I always say no phones under 14? This is mm -hmm. part of the reason why, right? And that's another one of those questions. Any other ones that are frequently, I mean, I know you get a lot of frequently asked questions. No phones under 14, if categorically. No social media under 13. They're not allowed. That, those are the two bigs. And just say no, 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 no. No, 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 Yes, tacos, no social media. Yes, there exactly. we go. Yes, no, no, tacos, no, 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 social media. No, let's pull this out real quick. Oh, I yeah. hate doing this to you, but again, no, no. the Boogeyman exists. You can get her book, and then also your Facebook page is a great source. Right, so you can learn more at the Facebook page. It's Overnight Geek University. You'll learn all my no, no, no strategies. Love it. Thank yes. you so much for being here. Always a pleasure to have you on Thank the show. You. And we learn something new every oh, time. Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> Up next, we're getting creative. A very spring project that is...